Hi friends, this is Vicki with Grandma Vicki Crafts and today I'm going to make a little wagon with a brownie pan that I got from the Dollar Tree and the size of the pan is 11 by 7 inches. So you'll need one of those. You'll need two packages of storage containers and they look like this. These are the lids and I've already painted mine black. Those will be the wheels. You'll need some dowel rods, two wood, wooden dowel rods. And I have already cut one and I've cut it at eight and three quarter inches across the pan. Then you'll need a spatula for the handle and this is the long the largest spatula and that, that will go underneath for our little handle for our wagon then you'll need some paint which I'm using a spray paint for the wheels and you'll need some red paint which I'm using it's just um, an enamel indoor indoor spray paint a gloss red and that's what I used for my pan so it is already sprayed and dried so we can go ahead and get started so I have my four tires painted black and then this has like an inner circle around there you can see it and it measures two inches so I took a little glass and my ruler and I measured across and this is exactly two inches so I took that onto a piece of vinyl that I got from the Dollar Tree as well and I made circles I cut that out and I stuck that onto the circle there for the inside of the wheel well. Then I have got on my piece of wax paper here, I have, I got little split balls, they are, and they're half inch balls. No, I'm sorry, they're one inch balls and there's six in the package. I got those at Hobby Lobby. Um, then I've taken a piece of mas masking tape and I've doubled it over so that I could stick the piece of masking tape to the wax paper and then stick my little half ball onto the other part so I could paint it without it getting away on me or getting my fingers all paint so i'm going to let that dry when that is dry i'm going to put that little red circle there on the middle of my wheel so i'm going to go ahead and do that for the rest of the four and i'll be back so now that i have all four of my wheels painted black and I've got the white final circles put on the middle. I have all four of my half circles painted red and for that I did use a Craft Smart acrylic paint in the color Holiday Red. Now I'll glue those on the middle but not until I put, I'm going to glue my dowel which I have painted gray and it measures about eight and three quarter inches. That's gonna go across the bottom of my pan, but I'm going to glue the one side into this wheel in the center, and then I'm going to glue the other side into the middle of this wheel in the center. And then I'll be able to glue my wheels down onto my pan along with my dowel on top of the pan as well. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 
my spatula and I'm going to put glue, hot glue, and um, I'm also going to use a super weld and hopefully that will work too. To fasten this onto my pen, like so, and then that will be my handle for my little wagon. So for now, I'm going to go and I'm going to paint the other dowel rod, which I've measured out to eight and three quarter. And also I found in the Dollar Tree dog nail clippers, and they were pretty good for cutting off the dowel rod. So there we have it. So that was pretty easy. So now I'll go and paint this in my gray color, which is called pewter gray. That's what I did the first one in, and I'll have it ready to attach to my other two wheels. So I'll be back. So here we are. I have my little red wagon with my wheels all glued on. My spatula is all glued down. Now what I did was I glued my spatula down, leaving this a little bit away from the end of the pan and I glued it down with my hot glue and also I used some of this super weld glue hoping that that'll help to hold it a little bit better but I suppose that Gorilla Glue or any other kind of a, of a glue that you might have would also work. So now the back wheels they were kind of flopping around on me and I needed something because these wheels are raised up just that little bit, the width of the spatula. So I used a craft stick, just one craft stick, painted it red, and I glued it down onto the wagon first, and then I glued my back wheels down onto that. So that'll help to make it level. So now the other thing I've got here is a little sign that I found um, I googled on the internet uh, radio flyer free logo and it came up and I just resized it to the size that I wanted and so I'll cut that out and I'll also put that on the other side of my little red wagon. I thought that was so cute. So how I attached the little sign to my little red wagon was I used Mod Podge and a paintbrush and I just painted the underside with the Mod Podge and I stuck it on my little wagon and then I Mod Podged over the top of it to hold it on. So now I think once I get the other side done with the logo it will be complete. And I think it turned out really cute and I take absolutely no credit for this idea. I have seen this on the internet, on, int on Pinterest, and on Instagram and YouTube. Um, there's lots of crafters that have been making the little red wagon. But if this was of any inspiration to you, I hope that you will like, share with your friends, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I want to thank all of my current subscribers for all your kind comments. It means so much to me to hear nice words from you. So, um, and always remember folks to be kind and thanks for watching. Bye now.